Hello everyone and welcome back to CRGTR channel. Today we'll continue part 2 of how to color hairs in Medivan. I'm glad that you are liked uh, part 1 of how to color hair in Medivan. If there are some of you guys didn't watch part 1, you can click to the thumbnail on the screen right now for some tricks that I use when I color hair in Medivan. And now let's start our new style here. The part 2 now will show you another way I color hair for the character on Medivan. Well, it will give you a detailed look but not spend much time on this. So the trick is the detail of your light when you draw the hair. That means the more details and of your light work, the more beautiful your hair looks. For this one, I always use cheap pen for the light work because it will let you have a thin look with smooth line like this one is on the screen right now. So just spend your time and carefully draw the hair so until it gives you a satisfied result like this. After you've done your light work, you will create another layer. So this is a layer 3 here. Use the bucket tool here and choose the base color of your hair. If there is some part is not connect, just use the pen and draw the line like this and then use the bucket tool here to fill on the hair just as I do right now. Um, you guys will ask why I didn't use the select tool here because I hate the look of the silicone tool when it will have a blue area and it like kind of like give me make me look really hard when I color it so later when then you will use the pen and draw on the blank space in here so make sure there will not any white space later when you color the hair After you done the base color of the hair, you will create another layer. Here is layer 4 and choose clipping so it will work in base color field and won't make a mess later. I will use the gradient tool. You can see there are two color boxes near the color wheel. Choose color for both two boxes. That will be the color appear when you drag the gradient. Remember to grab the dark color up here at the bottom and the light color will be at the top as on the screen right now. Then work on that layer or create a new layer that depends on you guys. Uh, so here I just too lazy so I will work in the same layer that is layer 4. Uh, we will create the cell setting look for this style. So right in the place that you intend to color the shadow of the hair, right click or use a dropper or color picker or whatever name you say to pick the color. Then drag the color point in the color wheel a little bit to the bottom to make it darker and ta-da! You have your shadow color. For this time, the detail light work will give you a best feeling and you will know where you should draw the shadow of the hair. Just follow it and repeat all of the steps. You will see the result later. If there still have some white spaces, just go back to the base color layer. Here is the layer 3 and use pen brush with base color or whatever color it is to draw and fill it. Don't do it in the layer 4 or you can see the weird look since there's the different color suddenly appear in your hair.
When you are done the shadow, now will be the last step. Highlight and make your hair shine. Remember your hair is round, so the highlight will be follow the overlook like this. Create a new layer and choose blending is add. You can see the effect right now. This now will be depend on your choice. You can pick the color right in the place you want to highlight and use pen brush to draw curve like connect them together as I do right now. But when me this is too light, just my taste, I decide to pick the shadow color right in the place I want to highlight and then do the same as before. The highlight now will look a little bit darker but look fine for me. You may want to know where we should put the highlight and where we shouldn't. That will be depend on where your light source is. So imagine your light source is in the left side here. That means the right side will be the dark place because the light cannot reach. Because of the light source, the left side of the hair will be shining and have lighter color. You can imagine the area that the light will be affected on just the same as you see the light appear in a routing just as a um, soccer ball. Based on that area, we can draw the, uh, the highlight as you want it to be. If the light source is too bright, it can make the highlight appear in a wide area like this. You can see this when you're standing around let me say, 11 am. Yeah. In order meaning, the highlight appear in your hair's character will depend on the environment where you put your character to. When you're done coloring the hair, you may find this a small trick to make your hair characters look more lively. Create a new layer, now in my screen is layer 7. Put it in the top, above on of the layers, then decrease the size of your pen brush. Pick the highlight hair color and draw some thin strands hair like this. If there's a dark background, you can see how stunning it works. In the dark place of the hair, you can do the same. Just pick the same color of the dark place of the hair and draw thin lines as you did for the highlight color. You will see the result is really cool, right? Well, just don't draw too much or else your character may look like you just wake up with a messy back hair. So that is all about this video show you how I color hair. There will be more in future so don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comment below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.